If you're looking to laugh and you have less than a couple of hours to spare, Hulu's Vacation Friends has you covered. Hulu. This is a Hulu exclusive. They're, they're doing movies too now. Cool. Are we having fun yet with all these exclusive movies on certain platforms? You have Apple TV movies, Amazon Prime, Netflix, HBO Max, Hulu, Paramount Plus, Disney Plus, Murder Me! This showed up front and center on Hulu and it stars John Cena, so I thought, alright, this is gonna be another cock blocker situation, another lowbrow R-rated comedy that's gonna come and go and I'm not gonna give it a second thought. Kind of. I think it's a lot better than cock blockers though, which I didn't really like. It's damn near impossible to find comedies anymore, unless they're masquerading as superhero films. So to have a film in 2021 be just that was kind of refreshing, honestly, even if the format is very stale. What we have here is your traditional dude bro type of film. Got a lot of penis jokes, we got drinking, we got drug use, we got sexual escapades. I'm in. I'm all in. Lil Rel Howery plays Marcus. He's the lead here. He's on vacation with his soon-to-be wife, Emily. Misfortune finds them almost immediately though as Ron and Kyla enter the picture. They're wild cards and life is very grip it and rip it for them. Marcus is however your textbook planner. So when these two elements come together, <laughs> holy shit, it's gonna get crazy. Like I said, this format has been done to death, yet I still found it a little bit charming as the film went on. I kept thinking to myself as it was progressing, all right, we're doing this, okay, here comes the drug use, whoop, things are gonna get out of control, hangover style. But as it progressed further and further, I found myself kind of won over by it. I think it's because it has a good nature to it all. And yes, it's rated R, but they it's not the lazy rated R where every other word is, you know, like fuck or shit. Swearing isn't by nature that funny. You know, you have to have some context to it. So when they drop an F-bomb, it, it lands a little bit harder. You know, it, it makes it a little bit more humorous. The film looks great. All the actors are really good. I think John Cena is hilarious in this. He really found a little niche in this market. Meredith Hagner plays Kyla. She's really funny too. For half of the film, I was trying to place who she looked like, who she reminded me of. And I finally landed on a combination of two actresses and I'm very confident in my final verdict. So I'd like to know if I'm right or not in your opinion. I am, but I'd like to hear from you. Uh, Kate Hudson, combo Zoe Deschanel, or Zoe Deschanel, or however, De Deschanel, however you say it, dishwater. That's who she combines. Howery and Cena get the majority of the film together. They play off each other really well. Uh, you know, it's again, it's a combination we've seen many times. The stuck-up dude and the party animal get together, hijinks, whatever, shenanigans. Hey, if it ain't broke, why, why fix it? Why risk it? I'm not gonna make this longer than it needs to be. To summarize, we've seen it all before. But that doesn't mean it still can't be fun, especially when we haven't had it in a long time. It's short, it's an hour 40, I think. We're right where a comedy needs to be. Hour and a half, hour 45 is the sweet spot for me with comedies. It hits that landing. And uh, yeah, it's a stupid Hulu exclusive though. I don't know, if, if you have it, might as well watch it. Let me know what you thought. Um, I was just due for some laughs and it, it provided. And there was some sweetness to it, like I said. That, that's what really kind of drove it all home at the end was there's a little bit more than just, you know, the debauchery angle. They, they have a little bit of heart mixed in. And I'm a sucker for that. So for my final verdict, I say go ahead and stream it. Give it a chance. What do you have to lose if you're already paying for the subscription? The first 10 to 15 minutes, you probably are going to be eye rolling like I did with the whole setup because it's so formulaic. But if you push through it, I think you'll find some charm with these characters. Then let me know in the comments. Like the video if you had a good time. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I put out a lot of content, movie related. So stick around. I'd love to have you. I don't even know what John Cena is. Is he a human? Like, nothing about that seems real. Oh, you're still here. Hey, thanks for sticking around. You can also find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or become a member right here on YouTube hitting that join button. It, it shows your support for my channel. I'm a one-man operation. You can give a dollar a month, five dollar, ten dollar. It just says, hey, Adam, keep going. Stay the course. I appreciate your honesty to movies. And I appreciate that you don't have any, some, you know, weird agenda. You just genuinely seem to like films, like I do. 
and I do. And that was a lot of do's at the end there. Wow, I need an education too, so maybe a dollar for that.